covering your rodent stories for years here at Pix 11, but this time it is a furry and frightening reoccurring problem. And the people who live here have the pictures to prove it. How scared were you? I was really scared. I told my daughter to run back in the house. Melissa Mays says she still can't believe what she saw when she opened up her front door last Tuesday at 7.30 in the morning. He fought so hard that he actually came between the banisters here, jumped down and ran all the way down the stairs to the first floor as the cops was chasing him. And he escaped? He did. Mays lives here on the sixth floor at the Red Hook West Houses. She was taking her daughter to school when she discovered the huge raccoon sitting on her neighbor's welcome mat. He stayed comfortable for a while. He just laid there. We actually was kicking the door to try to make him move and he wouldn't move. He sat there for about an hour. Mays took a picture because she says she thought no one would believe a raccoon got in and was able to make it all the way to the top floor. It was Jessica Duran's front door where the furry intruder chose to hang out. We kept on calling each other, like, don't open the door. She was horrified, but thought it was just a one-time problem. The next day, a raccoon, believed to be the same one, came back. The neighborhood has come up with a name for him. So you named him a specific name? Yes, yeah, Rocky the Raccoon. Why Rocky? I guess he's a fighter. <laughs> he wants to stay. How did Rocky get here? Lily Marshall, a tenant advocate, has a theory. The construction, the right? The construction is what had all of this going on. We had rats, but nothing like we have now. Aggravating the problem, says Mays and Duran, the lobby door is always propped open. It was open when we arrived. We reached out to NYCHA and they tell us they're looking into this problem. Duran has this plea. Keep that door closed. They have to think about the children. In the meantime, Mays says she always watches the hallway and looks behind every corner just in case. He's back. It was so scary.